Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. I know what I want for Christmas. Your two front teeth? Ferrari. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think that's something my wife's gonna get me. Oh, I don't know. She's pretty generous. Yeah, she is. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do a show on some things that we would love to get as gifts that perhaps our wives might be able to afford. I like the way you think. Let's do that right now and men are so smart. Hi there and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. You know, from sweet treats to gifts that will get him a better night's rest, this list of gifts tells your partner how much they mean to you. And if you have kids together, some of the gifts might even benefit the whole doggone family. So don't feel guilty about treating your husband to a nice gift. What do we got up first? All right, this first one, uh -huh. it's kind of a convenient way for to let him discover new products. Okay, go on. Uh, if he doesn't have time and energy or the desire mm. to hunt down a skincare or hair care product different from the one he's been using for, say, the last decade or two. Yeah, that's usually the case. You need to hand him over to Birchbox. Birchbox, you say? Birchbox. Okay. Every month, the service will send him five samples catered to his hair, skin, and personal style. I think that's a great idea. That's kind of like one. when you get your wife one of them bath a gift bag or bottle yes. baskets. It's 30 bucks. Yeah. And you know, you might find something that you didn't know you liked. Yep, that's true. I think that's a great idea. Yep. Next up on the list is Bomba's breathable supportive golf socks. Ooh. I would love these. Although, it's the first time they make it into the laundry, they're going to disappear. <laughs> At least one of them will. <laughs> no, in my case, it's both of them. And they go to either my son-in-law or my son. Oh, And yes. I, I never have socks. I have my wife just bought me 36 pairs of socks. Yeah. I've got two. Uh, that's happened here. Where are they going? I know exactly how that happens. Little details like the mesh undertow ventilation zone Ooh, that will make him appreciate these performance socks specially designed to up his golf game. Would it be extreme to attribute his birdie to Bombas? I don't think so. I think not. Yeah. All right, this one is kind of cool. A vinyl record subscription. If he has a turntable. If he still have a turntable, right. which we do. Uh, we I have a Morant's turntable back wow. there. Uh, vinyl, it's V-N-Y-L. Vinyl's curators uh, look at music tastes, member profile, and Spotify playlists to send three records he'll want to dive into immediately. The included handwritten note explaining the suggestion makes the experience feel more like he's stepped into a record store. That's very cool. You remember going into Tower Records? Oh, do I? God, you know what? And I remember way back in the day, if you were like undecided on a record. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could open it yeah, and, and play, play it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, I like this one. And then you buy it. Uh, Tower Records was the most eclectic store it on the planet. It was so innovative for its, for its time. I remember I went to the opening, the grand opening of the Tower Records in London. Oh, wow. Two, two stories. Holy cow. Same that would thing, be amazing. though. It was. Yeah. How about a smart home light starter kit? What you, was that you say, Sweet Lou? <laughs> he can dim, <laughs> he can dim, brighten, turn on, and turn off the light on his side of the room without ever getting out of bed. Imagine that. Plus, ask the Google Home Mini for weather and news or play music and a variety of other tasks. Wow, anything I can do from bed, I'm all in. If I can work from bed, <laughs> yes. you know the problem with my job, it's too jobby. And there's a lot of work that's too worky. Way too worky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up, matching underwear in a fun print. Yeah, okay, so maybe. This, it, it could be kind of fun. Uh, choose your favorite underwear cuts, five options for men and four options for women. And then go on to the fun part, choosing the print. Uh, Me Undies offers solid colors, but we love the adventurous cartoon splash prints more. The actual underwear is very co comfortable and soft. I'm a fan of the two guys in the picture. <laughs> oh, that is a guy. 
<laughs> yeah. Well. Any comment? Yeah. Um, just no. going to lay it out there. Let's right. uh, let's leave that up to the viewers. How about a mini cast iron skillet? Ooh, dang. See, like for when all, all the cooking that I do. Unless your wife likes to... A beach over the head with it? Yes. The smallest version she of... Miles Garrett on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he needed. That's what he was missing. <laughs> needed a freaking cast yeah. iron skillet. The smallest version of Field Company's lightweight <laughs> and smooth vintage style cast iron is the perfect size for cooking small dinner sides. And they all look delicious. That's a pork chop right oh, there. Oh, dang. Or is that a lamb chop? It's some I mean, kind of a, it's it's, a chop. It's a chop. It it's looks chop. good. Yep. All right, this next one. Cookies that look like him. And you know what? The picture, it looks like you. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. yeah. I think the mustache is perfect the, for the, you. The crazy hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I have hair. <laughs> uh, so cookies that look like him. These are a, a little bit on the pricey side. How $96. Much? Oh, okay. Uh, to have his likeness recreated on these delicious Vanilla almond sugar cookies. Oh, I love those. Is a gift he'll never forget. That does sound good. Yeah. I, I might be slobbering a little bit. <laughs> we always do this on the empty stomach. Why? Wow. We make always sure, end up. Make sure to take a side by side photo before he eats them all. So have him hold a cookie up yeah. next to his. For posterity. His, yes. All right, next up, a protective spray that keeps his shoes shiny and new. Costs about 17 bucks. If he loves shoes, <coughs> he should have the right products to take care of his favorite footwear. This spray protects shoes from stains caused by water and oil. And there are multiple people on the team who swear by it for every new pair of shoes that they get. It's called Repel. I, you know what? I'm crazy about my tennis shoes. And I, I like to keep them clean. It's so hard. Um, next one is wireless earbuds. Uh, this particular one, these particular ones, have a 14-hour battery life which is pretty darn good. Uh, this set costs $49.99. The writer says, I wear these all the time at the gym during my commute in the office because they sound great. You can actually customize the EQ through the app on your phone. Uh, they never slip out of your ears and have a long battery life. Uh, your main man will want to do the same thing once he experiences their quality and convenience. I have to say, I love my Apple earbuds, mm -hmm. the uh, wireless ones. I'm kind of thinking about getting the Pro ones, though, and they're, maybe that's something my, my wife would want to get me. I doubt it. Kind of pricey. Yeah, she doesn't really like you, so. Not that much. probably not going to happen. Yeah, not that much. Vitamin-infused body wash. Every guy needs a body wash. Yeah, sure. This stuff's 25 bucks, though. New, gender-neutral, because that's what Ronnie and I are all about. Yeah. Uh, gender neutral personal care brand Necessaire treats the body with clean, sustainable ingredients and vitamins. He'll wow. love using the uh, eucalyptus or sandalwood body washes to nourish his skin without stripping it of its moisture. I think I'd like to try that sandalwood. I like that smell. I do like sandalwood. It's good. I used to love the. Uh an old girlfriend got me a sandalwood incense. Oh, yeah. And an incense burner. Mm -hmm. It's a very good scent. All right, this last one. I'm talking. This is what I'm talking about. Gear to cheer on his favorite sports team. Uh -huh. This is from Fan Chest Boxes. Okay. They're available for NHL, NFL, and college teams. They include premium, officially licensed merchandise like fleece throws, caps, and even neck pillows. Wow. Man, if I had some, I have so much 49er stuff, but. I know you do. You know what? A little bit more, yeah, it can never hurt. How about a new electric toothbrush? Ooh. They're all the rage. All the kids have them, the cool ones. <laughs> uh, there's $55. There's something especially satisfying about seeing your toothbrushes standing side by side in the bathroom. I don't know what world this guy lives in. With quips, sleek metallic styles, and the knowledge that you'll always have a fresh brush head on the way via its subscriptions, it's even more so needed. A new electric toothbrush. Um, yeah, if you say so. Okay. I actually have a, I have one. I have a, my, my dentist recommend Waterpick and their electric toothbrush tandem. My teeth have never felt so smooth. Hmm. Uh, 
These are interesting. Sleep glasses to reduce eye fatigue. Uh, they're about $95. The blue light that comes off of our screens affects oh, your sleep. Yeah. So if you're one of these people, like I am, that looks at your iPad or your iPhone while you're in bed, these might be just what you need. Uh, so rather than deny him access entirely from his phone or laptop before bed, get him these blue light blocking glasses. His eyes won't feel as tired or dry, and you might have an easier time drifting off to sleep. That is true. You can actually get that. It's you know, it's like a TV. It's having that image burned onto a TV screen. Mm, yeah, I know what you mean. Close your eyes. You can still see that bright light yeah. coming off your iPad or iPhone. Yeah. Uh, for $58.99, a curated cocktail kit inside, he'll find all the top shelf spirits and ingredients he needs to bring two creative cocktail recipes to life. Rather than regret all the money spent on ingredients he'll only use once, he can refocus his energy to enjoying his cold, boozy creation. Now this one, my daughter wants one of these. Oh, I've been hearing about these. It's a 15 pound and they make them heavier. Mm -hmm. They make like a 20 or 25 pound, a weighted blanket. Uh, this heavy weighted blanket will knock him out after a long day with a couple of minutes under its comforting seven layer embrace. Uh, unless you want to be under it too, though it may be hard to hold him close, you win, you lose some. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure that I would like having all that weight on me. That's, I don't get claustrophobic at all, but I also don't like a really heavy comforter on me. I don't know, we'll see. I, if we get one for my daughter, I may have to try it out first. I think it's just to keep the blanket on you more. Uh, uh, hold it in place, sort of. Because basically, of the I have an eighty-pound blanket that sleeps oh, yeah, on me right. on my freaking dog. Yeah. Yep. Hey, look at this picture, Ronnie. Check that out. Oh, that's cool. This is a cool, as you say, a <laughs> cool, cool phone case and phone grip accessory for twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. It's a multi-talented force the likes of which the phone accessory world has never seen before. A grip stand, I'm sorry, a grip, a stand, car mount, and phone case, all in one convenient and sturdy package. I think I like that. I might get me one now. That is kind of cool. I do like the, the functionality of it. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, this one, this one might be one of the most affordable ones on the list. It's a mug to fuel his love for the outdoors. The mountains are calling. Yes. Hey, doofus, doofus, doofus. <laughs> With its functional carabiner handle, uh, this double-walled mug can be clipped to his bag. Who dat? God I'm in the shower. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the shower. Can be clipped to his bag and brought along for all his adventures. Once he's settled down all uh, at the campground, he can reward himself with a hot cup of coffee because it keeps the hot things hot. What about the cold things? And the cool things cool. No. How do we know? How do it? How do we know? I don't know how it do. <laughs> and finally today, how about getting your hubby a nice staycation? Ooh. A staycation is a good excuse to get away from the kids for the weekend and reset in a beautiful home in your own city. It'll help him appreciate a familiar place in a new light and he'll return home with renewed energy and vigor. You know what? My neighbors are away for the weekend. Maybe I'll sleep over there. I don't think they'd mind. I don't think so. No, hell, just, you know, make the bed. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. be fine. I won't even eat too much of their food. Too much? Not too much. What's too much? Well, if you know if they have rich crackers, how can you how can you resist that? Or Lay's potato chips? Or Lay's potato chips. You can only eat just one. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a list right there of some ideas. I know it's a little bit early in the season, but you know what? You're always right, waiting until the last minute to get things done, Got Christmas it. shopping and such. Well, here you go. Here's a heads up on some things that would be perfect for the guy in your life. You know what? Vicky's birthday is next week. I'll get her that cup. I'm going to get her something. The mount, I'm, you know what? Send her over to the neighbor's house. Yes. <laughs> and then you get a staycation. <laughs> All right. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corbett Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.
Thank <laughs> you.